Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened here? Did Sverage put on a wig and get braces or something? What's the deal? I will say they both have one thing in common. I'd rather watch paint dry than listen to their voices. And I believe that we have reviewed this lovely young lady before. And, uh, you know, vegan, being from a Nordic country, how are you not going to be the most bland, blah, boring person to ever exist? So let's see what I eat in a day as a healthy vegan with my new Nikon Z30. You know, you would think like a Nikon sponsorship is some hot shit, but it's like a $600 camera. So let's be a little, let's try to be a little nice today. One of the best things I know is to start my day outdoors. I don't know what it is, but mornings are magical. It's the beginning of a new day, new experiences, and yeah, I feel that the start of a day is important because it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Another nice This is like the classic Pinterest lifestyle. Like everything looks so amazing and happy and great, yet she's gonna poison herself the rest of the day thing is to start with a big and delicious breakfast. Today it is Saturday so I'm gonna do something a little bit more special because I have the extra time. Um, so I'm gonna make pancakes. My favorite combo, as you know, at this point is tahini and uh, date syrup. If you haven't, so bananas, oat flour, and plant milk. Actually, it's not bad. It's not bad. Bananas. I mean, look, are they using organic? Are they not using organic? I guess if it was, then hey, I, I wouldn't be too averse to it. But generally speaking, any food that's not certified organic is going to have so much more pollutants, agrochemicals in it. But you know, banana is good, old flour good. What plant milk is she using? If it was coconut milk, I'd actually eat these myself, but most of the time they use like almond milk or oat milk, which in my opinion are not that great unless you're making it yourself. But I'm not averse to uh, any of the ingredients going in the pancakes so far. I tried it yet, just do it. Now, now I don't know why they can't just be normal and put like some maple syrup on the pancakes. There's nothing wrong with some sugar in a high quality maple syrup but you're using tahini and date syrup now tahini made from sesame seeds is very very high in omega-6 not good i guess compared to vegetable seed oils it's kind of like a middle ground yeah it's probably destroying your body composition and you're not going to feel that great after eating it but it's not literally poisoning you like the oxidized vegetable seed oils and then the date syrup dates can be pretty high in certain anti-nutrients and I wouldn't really consume them in large amounts. It's not horrible. It's not horrible. This is definitely better than what most standard American dieters eat every single day. You know, if it wasn't for the tahini, then we'd be having a different conversation. Still not bad. degrees celsius outside so i need like a fresh salad so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna start making the marinade when i say tamari sauce you can always use soy sauce as well tamari sauce is gluten-free i don't care about that i think tamari actually tastes i mean th these people never look healthy she's got a face caked full of makeup and the body composition just doesn't look good you know she's not toned she's not fit she doesn't have like the full voluptuous curvy look she's not glowing and that's what happens when you eat low quality foods your body composition turns to to crap so if you are eating organic a lot of animal foods in the diet regardless of how much food you eat 
keep going out, exercise, get some sun, you'll look good. You'll always look good, not on this type of diet. It's a lot better. The recipe I'm making is the kimchi bliss bowl from the app. I don't have kimchi and I don't have tempeh, so I'm just making it from whatever I have because the marinade is Mm, it's so good and the dressing is also my favorite. Add three tablespoons tamari, two teaspoons garlic powder, one tablespoon maple. Uh, I forgot the rice vinegar, but two tablespoons of that. Then I'm just stirring my marinade up and chopping my tofu oh. into cubes and adding them to the marinade, closing the lid and giving them a nice shake and letting them marinate for about five minutes while the oven is preheating. Then on a baking tray, on. Not to be rude, but you know, people do talk about how Asians have small peepees, you know, particularly places where they consume a lot of tofu. And hey, I don't know, maybe there's some type of correlation there, but uh, you know, if you don't want, <sighs> I'm losing my mind today. Not, not only will tofu give you a small peepee, it's also very high in omega 6, oxidized, processed crap. Yeah, there might be some like artisanal tofu places that you can get a, a, a decent quality product in that's still going to be full of estrogens, but at least it won't be as oxidized and, and full of chemicals. But you'd probably have to go to Japan for those. Uh, parchment paper, just definitely add plenty of soy boys to play with while you're there. Bake in the oven for 20 minutes on 180 Celsius degrees while the rice is cooking. For the dressing, yeah, my new obsession, tahini. So I'm adding four tablespoons of tahini, two tablespoons rice vinegar, one tablespoon tamari sauce, one tablespoon. We've said this before, but it's always like this cookie cutter vegan nonsense. They always put tahini in it. They always put soy sauce. Then they'll add some acidity, plenty of sugar. And I'm pretty sure tahini has sugar in it itself. But, you know, how are you going to have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 tablespoons of tahini every day, chock full of omega-6 and think you're healthy. It shows how deficient these diets are in calories that these vegans try to follow. They think they're being healthy and eating light and having salads and avoiding carbs. And then they just douse on 1500 calories worth of ground up seeds. Tablespoon maple syrup, one teaspoon sriracha. Then just give it a stir until it's thick like this, and add a few splashes of water to thin it out a bit. Then I'm preparing my veggies and yeah, eventually preparing my bowl with some lettuce, the brown rice, cucumber, red cabbage, pineapple, the tofu cubes, some toasted sesame seeds and the delicious dressing. It looks like a rainbow and it's so satisfying. <laughs> they care more about what the food looks like and playing arts and crafts as opposed to how they feel. Has anyone ever been honest and, and told how long they spend in the kitchen making these nonsense meals every day? It seems like an all day thing. It seems like this girl's you know, six, seven, eight hours a day just filming this vlog and cooking this crappy food. To eat rainbows. Yum! A uh, huge fresh salad. Mm. So when you eat that tofu, you know, we spoke about what's in it and then you cook it more and oxidize it more. It's just like denatured, low quality protein. You're not really getting anything. The rest of her salad for the most part is just green vegetables and yeah, you know, they might be decent for some gut motility, but in most cases, they're just full of flavonoids and anti-nutrients and things that your liver is going to have to process. Best case scenario, you don't digest them and you're, you know, your just gut bacteria feeds off of them a little bit. Worst case scenario, you're just storing more of those toxins and chemicals in your liver that are either from the vegetable directly or because of what was sprayed on the vegetable when it was grown. What does she put pineapple in there? That's a little weird for a salad, but I'm not really that against pineapple. And the tahini... That's where, you know, that's really where she's getting most of her calories from in this meal. If she just had five tablespoons of that dressing, she'd feel better than eating this stuff. That dressing though, I love How can you live in such food. a beautiful I place and eat this crap? Volumes. That brings me to the a common question. Do I count calories? No, I don't count calories. I did before, actually when I was younger, but it only brings more negative things than positive things, so... I completely stopped and now I just eat intuitively, eat until I'm full, just enjoy my big bowls of color. Yeah, be being vegan is real intuitive. When you cheat with that sushi meal at Nobu every night, 
Wonderful food every day. That your rich boyfriend who's paying for your apartment is taking you to. Too hot to tan. Need something cold to eat. Oh my god. Oh. Well, if you were vegan and even had the B vitamins and amino acids to heal your skin from the sun, I would be very, very surprised. But uh, if you can't lay in the sun, even if it's like 90 degrees outside for a few hours without having an issue, then you're not metabolically that healthy. By the way, this is my first video filmed with my new vlog camera. I love it. It is a Nikon. Um, it is called uh, Z30. Um, yeah, I just love it so much. But now, let's make an ice cream. <laughs> you know when she says ice cream and she starts throwing kale in a blender, her brain is really messed up. Oh my god. We're making guacamole, what's the deal? These people are so brainwashed, it's crazy. And this is something I've said before too. Why not just have a salad and then have the ice cream without the greens in it so it actually tastes good? This can't be good. This can't be good. It's a bunch of bananas with kale blended up. Oh, that's so disgusting. How, how horrible does your diet have to be that you can swallow that stuff? It has to be so deficient in nutrients, you're depriving yourself, it doesn't taste good, and you're unhealthy because you have no clue what you're doing in regards to nutrition. Again, the green vegetables, the anti-nutrients, the goitrogens, destroying your thyroid, destroying your liver, that's part of the reason people feel so bad on these vegan diets. If she just omitted the vegetables from the diet, she'd feel better. Yeah, she'd still be deficient in a lot of nutrients, but she wouldn't be destroying her body as much. The best burrito you've had in a long time, probably because they snuck some pork fat in there. I think anything that's not beef to Mexicans is vegan, so don't be surprised. <sighs> oh my God, ladies, you will never... You will never have this lifestyle eating this crap because your brain will not function enough for you to make money in a real job. So yeah, that's kind of weird. She's selling like a $700 camera. So you too can vlog your nonsense vegan Pinterest lifestyle. But what is a little weird is this has uh, 42,000 views and only 100 comments. So that doesn't seem typical. I usually get way more comments than that and I get like not even 10% of her views. And a lot of the comments seem fake, but... Either way, you know, it's hard to believe that people are actually following this and watching this and why this girl is doing dogs. But it is kind of interesting that people can still be so close-minded enough, you know, with all the information they have access to and not listening to how they feel. You know, that, that conventional wisdom and what we've been told our whole lives that, oh, meat is bad and fruits or veggies are good for you. So, yeah, vegans got to be good. It's so ingrained in people's brains that, they, they just really can't get over it. And, you know, I don't know how old this girl is now, but, you know, even now, if she she's still probably, she's still in her, her 20s, right? If she took that makeup off without the filters and the fake tanner and all that nonsense, she'd look horrible. So how's she going to look 5, 10, 15 years from now? These people are definitely a bit out of touch with reality. Because it's funny, you know, you're living in this expensive-ass apartment where, you know, you're paying so much money per month. You have all this nice stuff. Yeah, you're going to poison yourself? Like, come on, go eat a steak. Who cares? Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this critique and it deters you from incorporating some of these foods into your diet. Although, you know, some of the meals weren't too far off. Uh, if you guys do have any video critiques or people, videos you'd like me to look at, please let me know down in the comments below. 
But outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank-defano.com to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for the live stream tomorrow, 4th of July live grilling, 3 p.m. Eastern time if you guys would like to join us.